Well, hello, hello everyone. This is Victoria Lowe and I'm back with another video, which means another color, but this time I'm doing it three ways. Stay tuned. Let's mix it up. Mix it, lipstick, man. Mix it, lipstick, man. Mix it, lipstick, man. Mix it, lipstick, man. Mix it, lipstick, mix it, lipstick, man. Mix it, lipstick, man. Let's mix it up. Mix it, lipstick, man. Mix it, lipstick, man. Mix it, lipstick, man. Okay, you guys, first I'm going in with two tablespoons of my Very Velo lipstick base. You can get this from my website. If you don't know by now, verivelobeauty.com. Yes, I'm going to start off by making a liquid matte lipstick. And then I'm going to transition that liquid matte lipstick into a bullet. I know, right? Now I'm going in with one teaspoon of the titanium dioxide. And I'm just going to mix that in really well. I came up with this new technique that I've been wanting to try for a while now and I really am excited about it. So right now in this video, I'm really experimenting. This is my first time seeing how it's going to turn out as far as transitioning a liquid matte to a bullet but i am so excited so i'm going in with another tablespoon of my base and also another half teaspoon of the i'm sorry another teaspoon of the titanium dioxide because i just wanted to be sure that i had enough product for a liquid matte lipstick and also a bullet so i actually had enough for two no three liquid matte lipsticks and two bullets so that would be great for those of you who want to make more than three or more than two bullets this is a very simple way just repeat the measurements i mean sorry multiply the measurements by however many that you are making i also thought it would be cool to give people the option to have a product that's in the same color but three different products or three different ways so having like this beautiful neutral peach in a liquid matte in a traditional bullet and also in a gloss same exact recipe same color but three different ways now i'm going in with one teaspoon of the fdnc red number 27 alum lake i will link everything that i'm using in the description box and i also want you guys to be sure to watch my shop with me video so that you can know all of the color additives that you would need as far as the powder color additives are concerned to make just about any color i get this question asked often can i use the liquid concentrates to make a matte lipstick and the answer is no because they are oil based so i typically use those more in my glosses and in my bullets and as far as the bullets go i use them for to maintain the texture of the bullets but for the color you want to make sure that you get your powdered color color additives so right here what you see me doing is cleaning off my spatula i don't want any layering of the white or marbling or swirls to remain in my liquid mat so i am cleaning the product off of this spatula i just grabbed me a paper towel to get the product off first
so when i add a little bit of brown to it it can be worn basically by any skin tone which true truthfully and honestly we can wear whatever color we want <laughs> but as far as you know some people being comfortable about vibrant colors one trick to kind of neutralize a vibrant color is to add a little bit of brown and maybe and sometimes a little bit of black just a little bit just to tone it down a little bit now i'm going in with a quarter of a teaspoon of the iso dodecane remix and you can grab that from my website as well and i want you guys to know that a little iso remix goes a long way now when i mix it with the batch in a batch i use a little more but when I'm mixing in a smaller quantity I use a lot less so that's why you guys see me using only a quarter teaspoon at the moment I'm gonna add some more in later but right now I'm just adding in a quarter of a teaspoon because you don't want to add too much of the ISO because you don't want your product to separate so now I'm going in after the ISO with one teaspoon of the red number 27 alum lake aka pink and then i'm going in with half of a tablespoon of the fdnc yellow number five alum lake and i'm just basically putting that color back in after i added that liquid to maintain our color payoff and because we, because we want our product to have a full coverage so you want to make sure that you are not stingy on that color and don't be afraid to add that color and if it gets too bright you know you can always go back in with a little more brown to neutralize it so yes i'm mixing that in very well now i'm going in with my favorite product ever <laughs> or ingredient two tablespoons of the kaolin clay and if you've been watching me for a minute now, you know that I love my Kaolin Clay Honey. It is going to help us in making this product matte and also making this product dry. Matte is really the absence of shimmer. It's just a color without shimmer matte. But to help it dry, we're going to use the Kaolin Clay in our mixture. Now, when you adding a kaolin clay and i believe this is like one of my first times adding a clay making a smaller batch so this is really really exciting and good because i want to i want to show you guys but you see how it's like almost like a dough ball that's what you want you want it to be like that um my rule of thumb when adding a clay and i'm just taking a half of a tea tablespoon of the liquid lipstick after it is after the clay is added and i put it in my beaker and i'm gonna put that up for later make sure you do not forget to do that <laughs> so now i'm going in with a quarter of a teaspoon of the iso remix and you're gonna see how this color goes from that thick consistency to a nice cream consistency and i only use a quarter of a teaspoon you guys because remember i added a quarter of a teaspoon before so yes it's a half of a teaspoon in all but i like to break it up but yes a rule of thumb and here's the beautiful swatch with the kaolin clay in the base if you use two tablespoons of base use two tablespoons of kaolin clay you get what I'm saying? Because you don't want the product to crack on your lips and you just want it to dry down good fast and, you know, in a nice cream finish. And um, I like to say to use equal, use it in equal parts so that you know that there is a good balance. But here I am just adding the product to my bottle and I just like to give it a tap. When my product is a little thick, I just give it a little tap and all of the product just levels itself out. And of course, you know, you want to make sure that you leave a little space at the top so that that wine could go in. And then you just tap the bottle and the product rises just like that. Don't never overfill your bottle because you won't be able to get your stopper in. You won't be able to get your wine in. So now I'm going in with two teaspoons of the Very Velo Beauty 
lip, lipstick bullet base now as you can see this base differs from my other base because it is so much firmer and the reason why is because we want it to be able to stand and um be able to mold properly without falling apart you know we want it to be strong enough for when we put it on our lips when we apply it to our lips so yes this base is a lot more firmer than the other base but for good reason because you don't want your lipstick breaking apart while you trying to put it on like i said before but i'm just adding two teaspoons of this base to my beaker that i set aside earlier with the liquid lipstick and the kaolin clay here i am while i have my beaker i just want to go ahead and oil my sanitized lipstick mold to get it prepared for our um, lipstick once it melts so I have my beaker on top of my little hot plate and I do have it on the first setting I just find it so much easier than double boiling but of course you know double boiling is safer but I have it on number one and I am watching it closely if you're gonna do it like this make sure that you watch it closely and also make sure that you pick it up with the paper towel to protect your hands but yes I oiled my mold really good and I put it put it back together making sure that everything is aligned and I'm just gonna wait for this lipstick to melt once it is melted I poured it into my mold and I set it in the freezer for 15 minutes and I'm just moving this um, excess, scraping this excess lipstick away with this little metal spoon that I have. But a piece broke off. <laughs> but not to worry, it's still going to be able to slide right into my lipstick tube that I got. I got these cute little gold lipstick tubes from Amazon. And I'll be sure to link them and i'm just gonna slide this lipstick to tube on top of the molded lipstick and i'm gonna push it all the way down just a little bit of pressure not a lot but enough for it to grab the lipstick itself and it's gonna slide right out and just like that we have made a traditional bullet and it is so beautiful you guys look at
Just like the other color, I have to add my brown, so I'm going in with a quarter teaspoon of the brown liquid concentrate, and I'm mixing it in really well. And then, of course, and just like that, it neutralized the color. But to bring some more depth to this cream gloss, I'm going in with a teaspoon of the FDNC Red 27 aluminum lake and i'm just gonna fold that in really really good now if you have a hand mixer like the small stick mixer that i've used previously the wonder per mixer now would be a great time to grab it and use the ball whisk on it oh my gosh this is a life changing you guys i'm going in with a half of a teaspoon of titanium dioxide what i like about it is how it mixes the liquid concentrates the base and the powders into this gloss so effortlessly and it also decreases the possibility of everything separating or marbling this blender i'm sorry this stick whisk blender whatever you want to call it hand mixer is great i'm going in with another half teaspoon of the titanium dioxide and you can see that color lightening up and it's just going to establish that peach. I'm going in with half of a tablespoon of the FDNC alum, yellow number five alum lake. And that mixer is just, it's just so amazing. Look, it's coming together. I love it. And now I'm going in with a quarter teaspoon of the brown oxide. And that is my last color. And that is going to neutralize this gloss. And it is going to basically complete the peach love it now i'm going in with half a teaspoon of you guessed it versa gel this versa gel is going to help bring the texture to the gloss i want my gloss to be nice but not too sticky and i don't want it to be too thick nice thick enough you know for it to be a gloss and to glide on and to stay on my lips for a long duration of time but I want my gloss to be that more of a cream gloss so only a half a teaspoon of the versa gel and of course if you're multiplying this then you'll add you know how much you need according to how many you're trying to make this make this particular recipe that I just made it did make five 10 milliliter um, lip glosses so that's something to keep in mind so if you want like 10 lip glosses you could double this recipe easily it did not require a lot of ingredients it was so easy and just like that we have cream gloss and when i tell you this color is popping the color payoff on this gloss is bomb but you about to see in a minute but yes we made three of the same exact um three of the same exact three products same exact color that's what i'm trying to say y'all know what i'm trying to say but i'm swatching this beautiful um lipstick this is my first time experimenting with this lipstick in this way and it is so pretty it is a matte lipstick you guys but it is creamy on my lips so it wasn't drying at all on my lips it dried but it's not like drying my lips out it still has that nice cream consistency to it or a cream finish but it is matte it doesn't have any shimmer in it so now i'm swatching this beautiful gloss look at it that color payoff is bomb one swipe and it was just like popping and i just i'm just blotting it in i love it that is the gloss Girl, this peach gloss. It's, oh, oh my gosh. I'm going to have to do this wholesale, you guys. Like, definitely. Because it is a must-have. You got to have it. Or you can make it yourself. <laughs> but now I'm just swatching this beautiful um, liquid matte. And I did the other ones first because I always make liquid matte. So I'm swatching this one last. And it is beautiful beautiful as you can see the coverage on the liquid match matte is a whole lot more because it is way more pigmented and it required more ingredients but it is amazing look at that it's already dry and i love it 
it came out so perfect i'm so proud of myself i made three products the same color this has been long and overdue and i as always you guys i want to thank you so much for supporting my channel supporting my company supporting me it means so much to me you guys i thank you for all that you do for very velo beauty and i am so proud of you guys for continuing on with your lipstick making journey and the much success that a lot of your businesses has accomplished in just a year oh my gosh i'm so so proud of you guys and i'm so grateful for you guys giving me the opportunity to share what i love to do and as always be blessed and happy holidays